Hey, what's up, Paul? Today we're going to be talking about cornerback Lincoln Stevens. What, what is his potential of making CL's roster? Um, what areas will he, where he'll be, where will he be playing, and so on. So let's get started. So Lincoln Stevens, for the last couple of years, so he's bounced around on different teams practice squads and so on. He never really got any game practice at all. Um, starting September of last year, he made Seattle's practice squad and was there for quite a bit, quite a bit of time. And then in December, uh, Miami picked him up and he played in a, a few games for uh, Miami, had registered 30 tackles in our, yeah, 30 tackles and 30 um, on the field. So he got a little bit of game practice. Uh, so Seattle mainly played him during camp when he was in camp at the nickelback position. So the big thing for Seattle right now is they only got Ugo Mati at the nickel position. Um, eventually, once he gets better, he can be the starter. But right now, he needs somebody to push him or take over just to get time to um, get acclimated, um, perform better. He needs someone to push him. So Lincoln Stevens is a player that could do that. Now he's not, he doesn't have the long arms or uh, different characteristics that Seattle likes for the nickel corner position. But um, during his pro day in NFL Combine, he showed that he had a lot more quickness and speed than what Ugo Mati has. Um, so this is something that Seattle can look at. Um, during the NFL draft, Pete Carroll and John Snyder said to look at Lincoln Stevens, um, possibility being potentially being a starter in their secondary at the least in the cornerback position. Now with Quentin Dunbar's legal issues, it is very possible that he could make the roster um, just because of that. Now, um, right now because of the shortened uh, season or with the shortened uh, camps and all that, um, it's going to be a lot harder for him to make this roster. But uh, I'm, But it looks like there's a lot of potential for him to um, get some playing time or become the starter at the nickel cornerback position. And then if Quentin Gumbar gets suspended or worse doesn't make gets cut because of all what's happened, he could be sharing snaps with um, Trey Flowers at that corner position. So that's something to look out for. Keep an eye out for more of my videos. I'll be more, doing more of these breakdowns um, on different players that Seattle has. Keep an eye out for that. I'll see you around. Go Hawks.